So one is the impedance DRC vision. It's the capability to physically see on the screen um, the DRC errors that are reported by um, maybe having a change in impedance, not the correct track thicknesses, etc. So if I was to kind of look at constraint manager, we'll bring up constraint manager. I've got, uh, you can see I've got an impedance value here. So if we look at uh, the electrical uh, constraint works here, impedance physically set a value of uh, of 70 ohms with a 2% tolerance for the DDR A11 track or net. Um, and I'm getting a some are some meeting, some aren't meeting. Um, and I've just got a report of all C lights. So how can I physically track these down? So the easiest way, obviously, I mean, I can just turn on the DRC error and try and work out which traces are meeting the constraints and which aren't. So that's one method. But a nicer method would, would be to use one of the visions. So if we look under the view menu, we've got something called vision manager. Um, it opens up this kind of this pane so we can obviously detach this and move this anywhere else on the screen or, or dock it in with the other ones. Um, and if I look at the drop down, I've got choices of obviously root vision, placement vision, impedance DRC vision and return path DRC vision. There's videos for kind of all these different vision modes so you can see what each one's capable of. The impedance DRC vision, I can basically set colors for what I want, whether I'm going to be smaller than the constraint, whether I'm meeting the constraint value or larger than the constraint. And I can also dim unselected nets if I'm not using them. So if I do a modify selection, and then pick the net that I'm interested in. You can see straight away so that so I'm meeting the constraint all the way along here. This is all fine. Um, and I'm actually physically going to see the rule as I go along. So you can see that I'm, I'm probably too large in some some instances and uh, too small in other instances as well. So I'd need to go and adjust the track thicknesses to resolve this. But physically being able to see it on the screen um, can be really helpful.